Hey there, I'm TJ from Happen. This is the second part of our two-part video series designed to help you get started with Happen. This video is all about how the applications work. We're gonna talk about live tracking, we're gonna take a look at details with position snapshot, tracker history with time machine, reports, boundaries, and then finally we'll talk about where you can go to get any additional help you might need. Now, part one talked about how the trackers worked, how they connect to the internet, GPS itself, batteries, etc. If you haven't seen that video, you should definitely check it out. It's available in the application where you found this video as well. Okay, let's jump right in. So first I wanna talk about our applications, the type we have and where you can find them. Happen has a web application and mobile applications. This gives you the flexibility to use Happen how you want. On a PC, perfect. Apple Watch, Android, iPhones, all of the above. Alerts and notifications will go to any mobile device as well. Now the web application is browser-based and available at our website, gethappen.com. You can simply click the login in the top right corner to get going. The mobile apps are for iOS and Android, and they're available in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. You can also find download links in the settings of the web application. So how about we dive in to those apps? So the first thing you see is the main map, and that's live tracking. It's the screen you see as soon as you log in. And that map is the current last known location for all of your devices. It's great for a high level view of seeing all of your tracked assets at one time. Now, if you click on one of those trackers, that's gonna take you into follow mode and the camera will stay locked on the selected tracker as it moves. It's very similar to using GPS navigation with that familiar bird's eye view. It's great for watching important events happen. Now, Time Machine allows you to see historical activity of your trackers visually for any given day. With Time Machine, you will choose a day, then you'll select a group of trackers, and Happen's application will build you a scrollable timeline, giving you a ping-by-ping -ping interactive view of where that tracker was. Then, with Time Machine, you can zoom into any given position update in the past and tap that position to access position snapshot. That'll give you even more context. That position snapshot is a detailed view of that single update when it happened. Where was the tracker? How fast was it going? What direction was it headed? And even more. You'll see a map view, you'll see that information, as well as things like battery level, weather, and even other nearby locations. When your trackers are in a period of consecutive motion, that activity is going to be combined and recorded as a trip. Also, when there is a period of time where your tracker is stopped for a long time, that's recorded as a stop. So these two events make up what we call activities. And this allows us to group all of the trips and stops together, either in your reporting or even on the map as a list. You can then quickly and easily get a high level summary of all those activities over the course of a given day or a week. If you then click on that activity, it allows you to dive deep and see it update by update in the map. You can also view an activity in Time Machine, giving you a more interactive, scrollable experience. In addition to activities, we are also always measuring alerts because you're not always going to be able to look at a map. That's just a fact. We rely on our alerts to notify you of important events even when you cannot be in the application. In the app settings pages, you can easily customize what alerts you want to get and how you'll be notified. You can be notified via email, text, push notification, however you need to. Additionally, all alerts are logged in the alerts report. So even if you miss a notification, that data is stored so you can go back and see it. Boundaries are another core feature. They're a digital fence that allow you to tell us what locations matter to you. It might be your home, your business, or your kid's school. No matter what the location is, putting a boundary around it will make sure you get an instant notification if a tracker enters or exits that boundary. It can be super useful. Getting notified when trackers go in and out of these boundaries gives you very extreme visibility into what's happening without you even looking at the map. Now, Happen offers multiple different types of reports as well, in case you need to take a deeper dive into data that is generated by your trackers. 
such as a, a larger set potentially. The positions report gives you an update by update log of every position ever recorded by your trackers. The activity report shows all of the trips and stops that have been recorded over time. And the alerts report, as we mentioned above, is a log of every generated report from any tracker on the account. Boundary activity allows you to see what trackers entered or exited boundaries, how much time they spent there, even which ones are still in boundaries. And finally, our tracker usage report focuses on distance covered and the time spent being used, which is measured by the ignition being turned on. All of our reports can be filtered, sorted, and then exported as CSV files. Now, where can you go if you need to get help, if you need it while you're using Happen? Well, for one, you can play this and any other getting started videos as many times as you like directly from the app menu. They're also going to be on our Happen YouTube channel or in our help center along with our other articles and useful tutorials. If you run into any troubles that can't be solved by those materials, head to our website, click support, and you can get started chatting and talking with our extremely helpful expert agents uh, very, very quickly. Now, I'd quickly like to summarize what we talked about. We talked about the different types of apps that we have, where to go to get them. We talked about live tracking to see what's happening in the present. We talked about following trackers using follow mode for those important events. And we talked about getting details using position snapshot. We talked about viewing the past using Time Machine. We talked about trips, stops, alerts, boundaries, and reports too. We also showed you where to go to get help if you need it. That's all for now. There are many more features and details about the Happen apps. If you need any further advice, please reach out to us. Thanks for watching part two of our Getting Started series where we covered the applications. If you want to head back to part one, or if you haven't watched our video about how the trackers work, please head back to the menu in application and you can watch it from there. Thanks so much for watching and go ahead and start tracking. Take care.